Hey, what's up all, it's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. And we finally arrived in Veilstone City, our next destination to get our Sinnoh Gym Badges. But before we head to the gym, I figured seeing as we just arrived here, we might as well have a little wander around this city and see what's what. So yeah, the only place we really saw was the Pokemon Center, but we're going to have a little explore right now. But before we start, I have actually... Actually, that reminds me. First of all, I need to change the battle scene on because I did a little bit of Pokemon training off camera. And if you can see on the other screen, then you've probably noticed uh, a returning uh, addition to the team, even though it wasn't really part of our team to begin with. Anyway, yes, I brought Togepi pack with me because... I don't know, I was kind of in the mood to maybe training it up and evolving it into a Togetic and then it may be eventually again into a Togekiss. Because, eh, why not? So, I've done a little bit of Pokemon training, not a massive amount, but just a little bit, you know. So, Grotor is now level 31, and I think it evolves at level 32, so we're not too far off from leveling up. Same with Luxio, I think you evolve at level 30. Psyduck, I can't remember when you evolve, but... Uh, you're getting there, although I kind of do need to train you up a little bit more. Gabite, oh, actually, you're very close to leveling up. All right, I'll have to do, do a quick battle with you. Staravia, you're level 30. I think that's going to be good enough for our upcoming gym battle. And there's Togepi, now level 20. Currently holding the experience share, but up until level 20, I did actually give it the, um, the Soothe Bell, just to see if it actually has an effect on whether it will evolve quicker, but I have no idea, but... Whatever, Togepi is now level 20. We're going to see whether we can make it evolve and just go from there, really. Right, so here's Veilstone City. And you know what? The first thing that uh, I kept seeing was uh, these Galactic uh, Grunts. Galactic Warehouse, no trespassing. Okay. I'm just going to borrow this item. Ooh, it's a star piece. Uh, did you guys not mind that I was checking out this place? Also, what number was it? Number 7? Yes, it was. Let's have a look. Anything else hidden around here? There is, actually. I think it's right here. Calcium! There we go. Ah, good old item finder. Dancing machine. Whatever it's called. Anyway, let's turn that back on. Am I allowed through here? Hey, you. Yeah, you. This is Team Galactic's warehouse. There ain't no playground for kids. This is the awesome Team Galactic's awesome warehouse. A little kid like you should be playing at the Pokeball Gym. After all, the gym leader happens to be a kid just like you. Ah, oh, can I not? Alright, fine, fine. I guess we can't check that out. Although, ooh, that's a big old building. I think that's the department store. Well, there's the gym, but we're not going to check that out just yet. Uh, it's a bit awkward to get around this place. Uh, everything seems to be on different levels. The game corner is dangerous. Why is it dangerous? It's so fun, I lose track of time. Ah, uh, the dangers of the game corner. I got a TM, a surprise from the game corner. I used it on my Pokemon right away. Ah, yes. That sort of returns. Salud, trainer. To aim the Pokemon. Uh, we, oui. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh man, it's been so long since I last, uh, well, since I last spoke French. Veilstone City, hewn from rock. Hmm, okay, fair enough. And that we need rock climb, but we probably won't get that for a very long time. Uh, I spoke to you because you were the one that talk, uh, told me about the TM. There's a load of gr galactic grunts around here. I guess that's no surprise. Actually, we didn't go up here, so let's have a little wander up here. Maylene is Veilstone's gym leader. Then there's Wake and Pastoria. They're way too tough for me. I can't even come close to them. Well, maybe I will. Also, I cannot remember if I spoke to anyone in the Pokemon Center when I arrived. Oh, thankfully there's only two people, so... If I did, then... Well, we're going to speak to them again. Maylene, the gym leader, is a cute girl. But don't let her looks fool you. Even grown-ups have trouble with her. Right, okay, well... I should have the Pokemon to uh, take care of uh, Pokemon. If you use the hidden move Fly, you'll be instantly whisked to any town you've visited before. Ah, yes, that's definitely one of the most useful moves to learn, so I'll definitely be teaching that to Staravia when we find it. Talk to me. I bought a new parasol. But I don't want it to get rained on, so I'll watch the TV weather reports. Right, okay, fair enough. 
Alright, let's have a look at these random houses, because this is a Pokemon game and I am freely allowed to enter anyone's house without anyone asking. <laughs> if there are people who desire to see them, Pokemon will appear in many different guises. Hmm, indeed they do. A myth says that Mount Coronet parted uh, Sinnoh into halves. Seeing the Pokemon Shellos makes me think maybe the myth is real. Ah yes, the mystery uh, of Shellos because there's two different forms depending on which side of Sinnoh you catch them. Anyway, this must be the department store. Yeah, a shop full of dreams, alright. I came to this city just so I could go shopping at the department store. But with all these rock walls around, this place feels kind of cold. Yeah, it is, and kind of awkward to get round because they're all on so many different levels, there's not a huge amount of steps, so it's kind of an awkward town to get around, but, you know, that's what makes it unique. Anyway, what have we got? Discover a new you! Veilstone Department Store. Alright, discover a new me, right. Welcome to the fabulous uh, Veilstone Department Store, thank you! And one of the many uh, twins of the, uh, the Poketch Company is here. This department store knows how to ensure customer satisfaction. They really look after you once uh, you become a regular customer. Is that so? Hmm. Alright. I made an accessory modelled after the Pokeball of a trainer I met. Would you like one? Yeah, sure, alright. A Piplup mask. Ah. Oh. If that was Dawn by any chance. Because, uh, she has a Piplup, doesn't she? Yeah, I got Grotal, so Kyle, our rival, he has uh, Chimchar or uh, Monferno now, I think. I like the formal air of a luxury department store. Fair enough. And what do you sell? You, do you sell just the general items? You do. All right. Uh, Poké doll. Uh, oh, Max repels. This is the first time I've seen Max repels. And Ultra balls. Whoa. Okay. Right. Hmm, cool. All right. And a bunch of mail, but that's awesome. I don't think we're going to need any Ultra balls right now, but that's uh, good to know. And what do you sell? Uh, just a bunch of potions, max potions, revives. How many revives do I have? Oh, I've got plenty of revives, don't you? What about antidotes? Plenty of antidotes. I could get a full heal, but I don't think I'm in a rush to get those right now. Now, obviously, we should go upstairs, but what's downstairs? What is downstairs, I wonder? Oh, hello. Does it tell you on this side? Food and produce. Okay, so that's the bottom floor. Trainer Zone, Battle Collection, TM Corner, Poker Dolls and Goods, Rooftop Plaza. Alright, let's see what we have here. Uh, food and Produce section. Uh, okay. What kind of... Uh, Alright, so you sell Poffins for a massive amount of money. What about you? Uh, oh, you don't have any Rage Candy Bars. That's a shame. Lava Cookies. Oh, I forgot what they did. Alright, buy, I'll buy one. I forgot what they did. What, what do lava cookies do? Let's have a quick look. Ah, yeah. It heals all the status problems of one Pokemon. That's actually pretty good. And how much was that again? A 200. So they're like a full heal? And they're cheap. Screw it, I'm going to buy 10 of them. <laughs> Talk to me. Uh, let's see what we have. Uh, a bunch of berries. No, I'm not really interested in berries. Ah. Talk to me. I'm hopeless at cooking poffins, so I buy them here. I wish I could feed my babies poffins that I made myself, though. I uh, well... Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to just buy poffins myself, because... Well, you guys saw how uh, badly I made my own poffins in that earlier episode. Okay, yep, so tell me about if I've forgotten berries. Have I spoken to these other people? I didn't expect to find paradise in the department store's basement. I got carried away and bought up all the rage candy bars. Ooh, you jerk. That's why they're all sold out. Uh, yep, flavors of poffins, spicy poffins, uh, coolness, beauty, cuteness, smartness, and toughness. Yes, they are. That's if I really want to dive into uh, the whole world of poffins and all that. I don't know if I really want to right now, but oh, whatever. I'm, you know what? I'm feeling lazy. Uh, take me to take me to the next floor, please. I'm feeling very lazy, even though we don't actually have to walk up the stairs because we've got the escalators. But eh, whatever. So let's see. What do you sell? What's recommended? 
Uh, right, okay. Fair enough, you just give me a recommendation. Where can I find matching dresses for myself and my dear Pokemon? You're asking the wrong person. And Carbos, I should get protein instead. Iron's not bad either. HP up to your cricket tot, alright. Well, that's what it does. So, basically, you just sell those kind of items. Ooh, alright. Giving away a Poké app. Yeah, sure. A, the counter app over the counter. Yeah, sure, alright. Alright, we've got counter. Presumably not counter attack. The counter up to 9,999. Alright. Uh, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Yep. There's all the protein, iron, calcium, etc. Always overpriced. And uh, do you sell... Yep, you sell the X speed and all that sort of stuff. Temporary stuff. So, let's see. What number is our counter? That's the berry map. Hey, Magikarp's level 15. Alright, cool. Obtained Pokemon. Ah, is this the counter? Yes, it is. Alright, let's see. <laughs> let's go! How many clicks can I do? Ah, I'm bored. 30. There we go. 30 clicks. And presumably... Yep, it resets if you move off the screen. Uh, calculator. I don't think we have anything else, but I'm sure... Wow, I've done nearly 18,000 steps since I last reset. Time to reset. And we'll keep it on that screen for now. So, that's just general items and all that. Talk to me! What's this place? Ah, TMs! Here we go. This is more like a... Ooh, solar beam. But, hang on, what's, uh, Grotel's best stats? Because I wonder, should I teach you, uh, <laughs> solar beam? That's what your stats are. Uh, where's your... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah. No, your attack's better than your special attack, so probably best not to use solar beam on you, but... Alright, so those are your powerful TM down at the bottom there. Uh, natural gear to protect. Ooh, false swipe. That would be useful for uh, Pokeball capturing, so. Hmm. And they do sell flash here, so that's good. Do you know what? I'm going to buy false swipe because that could be very useful. Uh, like, ev like, eventually when we try and catch a certain Pokeball, so I'll definitely buy that. Wrote some secrets in my mail as a reminder. If someone reads it, I'm in deep trouble. Oh, well, now you got me all curious there, buddy. A friend traded me a Machoke using DS wireless communications, but instead of a Machoke, I got a different Pokemon. Ah, you got a Machamp, didn't you? Yeah. I'd like to buy up all the merchandise here, even once would do. Alright. What do you sell then? Uh, what's recommended? Ha! <laughs> I've already bought it. I'm way ahead of you. But uh, yeah, that's true, that false swipe will be very useful, especially if I want to try and capture some of the legendary Pokemon in this game. We need another copy of the game so I can challenge my puffer. Oh, fair enough, uh, what do you sell? Ah, you sell a bunch of dolls, presumably, for the secret base, which I'm probably not going to check out. But you know what, I can't resist getting a Buizel doll. Yeah, I want a Buizel doll. I want a Buizel doll, thank you. Uh, what do you sell? Ooh, loads of stuff. Oh, I could buy a TV. Oh, uh, a big toy TV. Ah, oh, boo. Toy refrigerator. A toy sink. Oh, it, it doesn't work. Ah, oh, boo. Although that's just reminded me of something. Like, later on in the game, once you defeated the Elite Four, don't you eventually get some sort of, like, really fancy looking, like, filler or something? I seem to remember that in this game. And I seem to remember that the items are hugely expensive to furnish your house there. But, yeah, that's, that, that, that's actually ringing a bell to me. That boy doesn't have any it, Pokemon, but he says he's training his image. Right, okay. If you got a wild Pokemon, chuck a quick ball right off the bat. Uh, or use a tower ball if it takes a long time to catch. Yeah, I really don't use any of those balls, really. I suppose I could try the timer ball, but really, if I'm going to try and catch it, especially legendary Pokemon, my best bet is the Dusk Balls, and to try and catch those Pokemon either in a cave or at night, because Dusk Balls, they're pretty powerful. I've had enough of shopping for a while. I'll grab a drink and unwind a bit. That's actually a good idea. Let's have a look. So you got the usual fresh water, soda pop, and lemonade, but I don't need to buy them because I think I did buy a whole bunch of Moo Moo Milk in an earlier episode. 
Two buff guys standing side by side, that's all. What? What's the problem? Absolutely nothing. Ah, young Pokemon trainer. As your senior in life, let me make a gift of this sticky bob. Okay. A hold item. If a, po if a Pokemon... If the Pokemon holding it is hit, the sticky bob sticks to the foe and inflicts damage. Ooh, very good. I'll leave you two to it. And uh, what about you? I've shopped here loyally for years. Now they consider me a regular. And it's only taken you a few years. Wow, that is, uh... Quite an exclusive loyalty, um, kind of system they have in this department store. I don't think I want to be coming back all the time for the next few years because I've only got so much time in this, uh, in this game. But you know what? That's good to know. Anyway, so that's the department store. So some interesting things. I might come back to the, uh, the TM sh uh, up there maybe get some of the more powerful ones. But I'm not in a massive rush for that just yet. Although I'm quite happy to get a load of these lava cookies. Like, they're only 200 each. They're, they're full heals. But they're so much cheaper. Like, it's a no-brainer. Unless there's something I'm completely missing. Lava cookies all the way. Surely. Huh. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing something like... <laughs> Well, whatever. Anyway, let's have a little wander around the rest of this place. Yeah, Team Galactic is hiding all sorts of good stuff in their warehouse. I hear they even have a hidden machine in there. Ooh, well, judging by the way that someone mentioned, uh, Fly, I'm guessing that's what the HM is. Galactic Veilstone Building, we dream of the universe. And interestingly, there's no one stopping me, and... Man, what's with the, uh, the lag all of a sudden in the game? Can I just wander in here? Hello. Welcome. This is the Team Galactic Headquarter. I'm sorry, this is the Galactic Veilstone building. Cosmic energy for the win! Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could harness that boundless energy? Yeah, sure. Uh, right. Can I talk to you guys? We, Team Galactic, will take everything that can be taken. We will eliminate everything that is not needed. That is Team Galactic's policy. Ah, fair enough. And presumably, yep, you need a special key, so we won't be able to go too far in here, but that's fine. Team Galactic conducts R&D around the clock here. We focus on the development of new energy resources. Hmm, so you say. You're too young for us. You can join us when you're older. I don't want to join you, but I will be back eventually because, yeah, I've got my suspicions about this place. So you know what? We're going to leave it. Also, I entered the middle door, so let's go in this door. Ah, oh, hello. Uh, everything belongs to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world, space will become Team Galactic's. Okay. Bunch of teleporters in the air. Right, well. Oh, I was going to say, uh, we'll go up, we'll go in them, but I'm guessing they've been deactivated. But I'll tell you what, while I'm in here, there is something here. Uh, where is it? Am I standing on it? No, it's in this box here. PP up. Nice. All right. Well, that was definitely worth popping in here, even though looks like we can't do anything right now because looks like that's a teleporter and it's deactivated. Well, that's fine. We'll check out this building later. No doubt we'll have to check out that place presumably after the gym battle. Anyway, is there something hidden here? No. Curiously, there isn't. What about here? Really? Nothing here? Can I interact with it anyway? It's a mysterious meteorite that fell from the stars. Hmm, it's full of them. Anything in here? Yes, there is. There is something in there. Alright, tell me where it is. Right next to me. A star piece. Another star piece. Alright, cool. Uh, here's another person from Team Galactic. We have the hidden machine that teaches fly stored in the warehouse. Aha! I thought so. They said I can use it if I show them that I deserve it. Right, well, you probably don't deserve it, so I'm going to help myself to that eventually. Physic. Uh, Physic? Visit beautiful Lake Valor, right off Route 214. Well, maybe I will later, but I've still got more of this place to check out. A man spoke to me in a foreign language. He really surprised me. I think he was asking if I liked Pokeball or something. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Ah, there's the game corner, but we'll check that out in a moment. Let's have a look around here. Also, a suspiciously empty area. Is something meant to happen in this area? I can't remember, but is there a hidden item that isn't? 
but suspiciously empty there. I'm guessing something happens at some point. I can't remember. Anyway, Failstone is the city of stone. We even have meteorites. This has nothing to do with anything, but take this technical machine. Alright, fine. I'll happily take a free TM. TM63. Uh, if someone uses embargo on your Pokemon, it becomes impossible to use any items on it. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, enjoy your visit to Failstone, the city of... Well, stone. <laughs> well, thank you for the welcome there, buddy. Right, what else have we got around here? It, it, hey, it's Storm. Jomo, are you going to take on the gym leader? Gee, you keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? Me? Well, I went shopping at the department store, and... I mean, well, of course, I've been working on my Pokedex, but... Oh. Hello. The ring is my roiling sea. The towering waves shaped me. Crash, crash, crash awake. Crash, crash, crash awake. I'm the tidal wave of power to wash you away. Put out the fire, crash awake. Run from electricity, crash awake. Ah ha ha, the ring is my sea. Hello, dude and young lady. You're challenging the gym leader, are you? Let me tell you now. She's young, but she's a born genius. I tried training with her, and I was stunned by how tough she was. Whoops, I better tell you who I am. I'm the triple threat gym leader in Pokemon, wrestling and song. I'm Crusher Waker Pastoria Gym. Meet again. Ah, okay. No doubt we will see you eventually. So, uh, Jono, good luck on your gym challenge. Thank you, Dawn, but I'm not going to go there just yet. I still want to check out a little bit more of this place, because we've still got a few buildings. And uh, Apache Rizu, I'll have to talk to Apache Rizu. Yeah, there we go. Oh, looking tired? Oh no, not you, I met your Pokemon. If you'd like, I can give a massage to a Pokemon. Uh, sure, yeah. Which one needs a little love? I'll tell you what, give a little love to Togepi, because I kind of want to uh, see if I can uh, make it happier, so I can make it evolve into a Togetic. You found a spring in my Togepi? Okay. Sure, okay. <laughs> My sister's boyfriend is the Scarf Guy in Pastoria City. They send mail to each other by letting Pokemon deliver it. Ah, oh, okay. Definitely need to check out Pastoria City at some point, but that's not for a little while. We've got this place to check out first. You there, watch this coin. Alright, I'm watching. Uh, I don't know, right hand. Okay, apparently I won. A uh, coin case, oh, that's handy. And what about you? There are many magicians in the world. You know, the performance artists. Don't you think that maybe, say, 5% are actually psychics? I don't know. You tell me. What's on your computer, by the way? Anything interesting? Nothing. Boo. Alright. Fine. <laughs> well, now that we've got the coin case, presumably we can now check out properly the game corner. So I'm kind of glad I started uh, having a little wander around first. So that's the game corner. And... Uh, do you know where one might find a coin case? Yeah, just look for a, a random house uh, to the left of me. Well, technically, I'm looking down in the game, so technically it's to my right when you think about it. <laughs> but the way you're watching uh, this uh, scene right now, it's to uh, the left. <laughs> I heard there's a clown giving it away. Um, yeah, you heard right. And that's the prize exchange. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's have a look and see what's in here. Let's see what kind of games you have here. I've been winning a ton today. Here, yeah, take some coins. Alright. When a Pokeball appears, it, it's a chance to line up slot marks. Replays and Pikachu line up even if you don't make an effort. And uh, aim for better marks like Pokeballs and Moonstones. Alright. Okay, so we can buy a bunch of these coins if we want. <laughs> it's a carnival. Alright. Yeah, give me some of those coins. Yeah, there we go. We can uh, do some slots here. So, um, so X to add some coins. Uh, oh, would help if I press the right buttons. Uh, I don't know. I think I. I think I actually prefer, um, what's it called, uh, Voltorb, um, damn it, what was it called, that game in, uh, Heart on Soul Silver? Voltorb Flip or something like that, I don't know, damn it, what was it called? Hang on a minute, 
What are you doing here, looker? Ah, it is you, yes. Examine, if you will, the reels, the Team Galactic logo. It is here. Further investigation is needed, and I am just the man to do it. Also, where the masses gather, so too does information. Ah, my streak is broken. Ah. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> you sure you're investigating, or are you having uh, too much fun with the slots there? Anyway, so that's basically... Oh, okay. So your daughter's a gym leader. Alright, that's random. Alright, cool. Anyway, so that's just basic slot machines there, but who cares? I much prefer Volto Flip. I woke up and realized my potential. So what percent potential was woken in me? What's my hidden power, you ask? It's a power that lets me see the hidden power of a Pokemon. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, all right, sure. Um, just out of curiosity, what is, I don't know, Psyduck's hidden power? It'll be fire. Fair enough. That'll be a nice trick to play on a grass type. <laughs> Uh, but coins I have none. Alright, just out of curiosity, what do you have? It's a surprise, so we've got a bunch of, s uh, like a scarf, some land, a metronome, a bunch of TMs. Some of which are pretty expensive. So that's substitute. Alright, so you can click on them. So endure, swords dance, double team, rest. U turn. Well, that's hidden power, but I'm not too worried about that. There's return again. Frustration. Some more exp expensive ones. Ah, here we go. It likes a flamethrower. Thunderbolt. Ice beam. Alright, alright. Ooh, psychic. That could be a useful one to have eventually. Gyro ball and Giga Impact. Alright. But they require a ton of coins, and yeah, I'm probably not going to uh, invest a lot of time in the slot. But just out of curiosity, how much uh, are game coins again? A thousand for fifty. Yikes! Yikes! That's expensive. Okay, right. Well, I'm probably not going to be in a massive rush to be uh, doing that anytime soon. But. You know, it's always nice to see the game corner. But uh, you know what? I'm not interested in that. I'm more interested in this gym battle. Veilstone City Pokemon Gym. Leader Maylene, the barefoot fighting genius. All right, let's check it out. Well, that's it for this video. But I've got some more Pokemon Platinum coming up very soon. So for now, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.